on, then there is no time to spare. You must move on, and you have to do so quickly. Can't believe I died. No. Wow. I don't actually even get to go to the other chamber. Damn. Nope. I've just seen if it was going to say it was crawling with enemies. There we go. We can go back. Oh, I want to know. I don't want to. I want to know what's the other. What was in the other chamber? Chamber of the Unyielding, or something like that. Yay! Though you had reason to worry for Leandra, she is quite safe when you return to Seratar's chamber. She and the Renegade Wizard are sitting together on the floor talking animatedly about her prototype engine and she... The, and the uses you already discovered for the Shanty Cube. Master Lone Wolf, you hear Seratar say as you approach, you have made it. Rather than respond, you hold out the crystals in the vessel. Will these do? This is all I could find without taking a lot of time. We do not have to search for more. The mage rises and looks over what you have. Your insight serves you well, lone wolf. He takes the crystal and the vessel. The amulet of Shianti... The amulet of Shianti make and examines them more closely. What? The blue crystals are not what we need for this ritual. As you know, they hold a great healing power, but that is not what you need to survive the cloud. You must repel its influence altogether. After prolonged exposure to the poison, healing yourself will not suffice. Seratar's attention now focuses on the red crystal. This one, on the other hand, will do nicely. Thanks to its energy, I can craft a talisman that will ward off the death fog for wh whoever wears it. You will com be completely immune to its effects. Leandra stands up and returns to your side with a frown on her face. Will it, protect will it only protect one of us at a time? He nods, setting the materials down on the pedestal in the middle of the room. Sadly, even to my knowledge, even my knowledge of, si of Shianti magic is limited. If I tried to make the amulet powerful enough to protect you both, it would likely cost all of my life force to imbue. Your life force? What do you mean? asks Leandra. The crystals irradiate great power by themselves, however, in order to work within the artifacts they need, a spark. What source supplied this spark in the Shanty Rites of old, I do not yet know. Seratar sighs. Resorting to my own life force is the only means I have found so far. I doubt the Shanty Wizards did the same, they must have known another way, but this is not the time for such speculations. Let us delay no longer, Master Lone Wolf. You hand the red crystal over to Seratar when he asks for it, wary but willing to trust for now. If the mage is going to betray you, now would be the time. Seratar takes the crystal in his left hand and he lays the other one on the amulet where, where it rests on the pedestal. He utters some words in the ancient language of the Shianti and a red light flows between the crystal and his body. You can see the energy being channeled through his outstretched fingers into the amulet itself. When Seratar has completed the ritual, only scarlet dust remains in his hand. The amulet starts, starts to glow, rising off the pedestal to hover in front of him. Ooh! That's cool. Summoning all of his arcane might, Seratar speaks the last few words of the rite and seals his great work. He has magically forged a crystalline amulet with, pul with a pulsing heart of red. The amulet sets into, sets into, settles into his grasp. Empowered and complete, Seratar, however, does not stop glowing. The ancient energy he whispers in pain. It is too great. It is going to... An explosion of light and force detonates all around the wizard, hurling him across the room. The shockwave is enough to knock you and Leandra off your feet, but you are otherwise unharmed. Oh god, Seratar's dead. You quickly get up to your feet and run over to Selatar. He is badly burned and breathing past ribs that sound shattered. Blood trickles from both corners of his mouth with ag an, agonizing, an agonized cough. He stares up at you, only one eye able to open. Never call up. He groans, his voice weak and fading. What? You cannot put back down. The talisman? Is it still not? You nod, holding it up for him to see. When Seratar realizes his sacrifice was not in vain, he looks both resigned and relieved. His eyes go still for a moment, yet they widen again at the thought of one, of one last desperate chance. He looks up at you again, his right hand pointing to your backpack, the blue crystals. You found Master Lone Wolf. I might still be able to unlock their magic and heal myself. His eyes looking, pleading, and as soon as Leandra hears his words, so do hers. You hold the power to save this man's life, one who was so close to the traitor and yet did not prevent his betrayal. Did he even want to stop him? Perhaps his amulet is a trap, one last chance for his bloodline to destroy the Kylords. Moreover, can you re really rely on his craft? If you trust him, the root crystals will be destroyed. You could keep them for yourself for later. You might even be able to use them to cross the chamber and avoid the risk of his amulet altogether. Whatever you decide, you have to make up your mind. Are these the choices where it's like death or the right choice? You won't help. It's, 
His modifications. In spite of your doubts, you think that Serotar deserves to be saved. He seemed genuine. You're correct. Your journal's been updated. You died. Serotar is kin to the man who betrayed Somaland and destroyed the Kai Order. Even burned, even burned and dying, he bears a strong enough resemblance to Vonatar that it hurts you to look upon him. But even so, you cannot bring yourself to condemn him for the actions of his brother. You have no proof that he has been anything but forthright this entire time. Much as you fear you might, re you may regret this decision. You nod and offer the broken mage both blue crystals. Serotai is very weak, but holding the raw crystal in his hand, he manages to draw the energy he needs from it. A sapphire light rises up out the crystal like a wave flowing through his body. In its wake, all his pain seems to vanish. Leandra has been silent and she takes a deep breath before speaking her mind. I know that you have every reason to be wary, even angry, but I think you did the right thing, Lone Wolf. She has softly before stepping away. I know you wanted revenge, but this was the right thing to do. Now that his wounds have been purged, Serotai is well enough to move again. He sits up on the cold floor and clears his voice to speak. Thank you, I will never be able to atone for what my brother did, but at least I have managed to be of some use to you for now. Or, some use to you now. Once I have recovered, I shall return to the to Torren. Self-pity and seclusion will not make things right again. Years ago, Vonatar destroyed your whole world. Now, you have saved the life of his kinsmen. Before you go, I would like to express my gratitude once more. His right hand recesses into the wide sleeve in his tunic. Then he hands out to you a signet ring that bears the emblem of the Brotherhood of the Crystal Star. Please take this. I have not felt worthy to wear it in a long time, but in giving it to you, perhaps both it and I can be redeemed. Ooh. Whoa. That is a lot of Kai. And it's also three intelligence. You want to make sure that Serotar will not be easy prey for the raiders that roam this halls, but encourages you to go on with your mission. I'm well enough to defend myself now if I must. You came here with a purpose, he smiles, trying to show both strength and confidence. I do not wish to keep you from it any longer. Go now, Kylord. Go and finish what you came here to do. With gratitude, you and Leandra turn back toward the dark passage that brought you here. Oh yeah. Now we can go up, maybe? Um, right, I want to equip that ring, because it gives me more Kai. Which is always good. I got th I get three intelligence, so whichever one gives me one intelli- Oh, uh, uh, they both do. That gives me strength, so I'll get rid of the other one. Uh, uh, that's just a silver necklace. Oh, what's this necklace give me? Three dexterity and two intelligence. That's very good, actually. The ring. Where's the bloody ring? I don't see it. Am I blind? No, it's not here. Oh, did I not take it? Did I discard it? Oh, balls. I may have done. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think I did. I must have done. I don't see it. Any oh, it's there. <laughs> I'm blind. It's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, I'm missing endurance again, I think. I'll just eat the soup. There we go. So I don't have any shrooms, so... Yeah, I can't recover my endurance. Anyway, back to the map! Right, there we go. So the Noxious Chamber, and then we can go north, and it's probably the end of the chapter. And it's time to fight. We haven't actually had a fight from moving from one place to another in a long time, so... That was coming a long time. Oh, that's been coming for a long time. Boah. Wait. Oh, that's... I, I did that, like, way too early. Whoa! Damn! Okay, I thought I was gonna get a third hit. Didn't give me a roundhouse. Roadhouse. And uh, down we go! Boosh! Ooh. Whoosh! Nice! I killed both of them! <laughs> Woohoo! That was the end of the fight. And I think I got all my Kai Bower back. Maybe. I don't know how much kite power I get from one kill. I think from the Geax I don't get much, but from the Dracarim I'm pretty sure I get quite a bit.
I might have gotten all my Kai power back, and if I did, then that's awesome. I will find out. I got... I got... Not all of it back. I got 1,700 back, though. So that's 850? Yeah, 850 Kai per Dracarim. Not bad. And our reward is some superior throwing knives, hard steel, and some finest leather. Yes. Still can't believe I couldn't see the fucking ring. It was so obvious. Right, we're here. Oh, because I was in a fight, I have to do that again. Oh, wait, maybe I can meditate. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't need to, actually. I, I don't need to. I do. Yes. As you get back to the noxious chamber, the cloud of death still billows billows from the shanty device. Past the thick fumes, you see the Dracarim. They have not been idle in your absence. Geeks have arrived to reinforce their position, snarling and looking around for any sign of you. Though you and Leandra have to avoid their notice so far, you know that you will only last until you enter the noxious room. You have Seratar's amulet, but it will only pre protect one of you at a time. For once, you do not have to insist, insist she stay behind. Leandra pulls back quietly, wishing you good luck. She knows you have to do this alone. You enter the chamber with caution, but the Geek spot you immediately. Howling? Yeah, howling they start. Hefty he hefting heavy chunks of stone, hurling them at you with great force. So what do I do? Use psionic shield! Ah. Grab the corpse of the Drakkar to shield yourself from the, bar the barrage. Charge at the Geax, trying to evade the rocks they are throwing at you. Yay, this means I'll get to dodge them. Dodge the rocks! I dodged! I dodged! Oh, I dodged all three! You find yourself under a heavy, bar under a heavy barrage. But luckily the amulet is working and the gas is not affecting you at all. Moving with great moving with great agility, you manage to dodge the Geax projectiles and close them before they can land a solid hit. The creatures panic when they see that you have reached them alive. You can take advantage of their terror to pounce on them like a wolf taking down a frightened deer. Yeah! We are a badass! So if I think there's only four acts in this game, in which case we're getting close to the end of the game, which is quite nice. I think the entire last chapter, or last act of the game, if, if there is four, if there's only three, then I have a feeling the last chapter will take place entirely within Vitarg. Okay. Do this again. Woo! Shink! Mm-hmm. Right, so from 703... Wow, I'm filled. So that gave me 2,200. Oh, there's more. Of course there is! Oh, you're a little buddy. Can I kill you with this? I don't think I can. Of course, because you dodge. I mean, what else was I expecting? When don't the enemies dodge? All the fucking time. Ah, whatever. There we go, we got him. That's not the end of him, though. I didn't think so. Okay. Oh, I nearly missed. Dink! Uh. That's like the first time we've gone against, like, the weak, the weak GX. The ones that only have a thousand health. Normally it's just the 1,500 ones we go against. So like the armoured GX, I think, is what they are. Interesting, the blood thickens. Yes. Yay! I win. But of course. Right, so it's been an hour. I could probably finish off this uh, chapter, at the very least. As the last Giac is falling, you move on onto the Dracarim. They cannot enter the chamber, and they have no more reinforcements to call for, but they do not want to be caught by surprise either. On the other hand, you have no other option than to engage them. You retain your momentum and charge at them, even though this me might mean letting down, letting them deal the first strike. For Zomland and the Kai! Roosh! They might not be able to attack first, but...